Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Minecraft 5x5 cube project. Friends, today we're going to make a parrot. So let's get cracking. All right, everybody. So once again, these were created by 8th grader Jack. He did an amazing job with all of these projects. Right here, you can see his Minecraft chicken. If you haven't seen, I will have the tutorial for the Minecraft chicken above. It is fun, fast, and is pretty doggone creative. Today, though, we are going to make the parrot, so I'm going to move this little dude back to the back. So the first step with our parrot is to bring out a cube. Hold down shift, stretch it to Crazyville, type the number 5, and press enter. That is the basis of the project. Now the second thing is I want to make these so they have the texture. Always put the radius of 2 and then set the steps to 1. So if we do fit view to zoom in, you can see that this dude now has beveled edges, which makes it look a little cooler if you 3D print it. Now this one is hard to 3D print because of how we do the legs, but we could change the legs to actually make our parrot 3D printable when we're finished. All right, friends, so if you've never done one of these before, the part that makes this awesome is setting the nudge to 5. That way we can click on our cube here and do Control D, and if we nudge one click, it is completely joined right to that spot. Do Control D again, and we've just built the front row. This is 3x3, three three, so we can grab the whole piece, do Control D and move it back, do control D again, it memorized the movement and we've just built the bottom row. Now we need six of these rows. So friends, control D, control up arrow, and we've just built row two. It memorizes that move so we can do control D again and there's three, four, five, six. Just like that, we've built the body of our awesome little parrot. Now while we're here, the wing is three by six as well. So friends, grab this whole thing. Notice it says 18. Six times three is 18. Control D, boom, there's your wing. Now we need to color our wing. Notice the first is red and then it's two yellow, diagonal two yellow and then another yellow. So here we go. Two yellow, I can do that by holding shift. I'm holding shift and clicking on that and I'm holding shift and clicking on that. Go over here to yellow and bam, we have just made those pieces. These bottom ones are all blue. I'm going to do shift select. And I've just selected seven of those, six plus one. I think Jack did a custom blue. So let's go out here and see if we can find one that we like. I think that's pretty close. And friends, that is your wing. If we grab all 18 of those, make sure it says 18. Do control D, one, two, three, four. We have just put our wing on the other side. In the back, we need a tail that's three by four. I'm gonna click on this one right here and do control D, and I'm gonna move it one back so it's right there. Make sure you click somewhere else because we don't wanna memorize that move. And now we're gonna do control D and go one click over and control D. So now I can Click on this, click on the custom color. I'm gonna do Control C to copy it. And then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna do my custom color. And I'm gonna do right click, paste to paste that code in and press enter. So now my tail matches. We need another row of that. So I'm gonna do Control D and Control up. And then I need two or more of those. So if I do Control D and Control D, those are good. I just need to change them to yellow to make my life easier. You won't have to do this because you don't have this little guy, but I'm going to hide him. So that way I can easily reach out here, make sure it says six, and turn them to the preset yellow. Friends, we have got a body, we've got wings, and a tail, just like that. I'm going to quickly hit show all to bring back my template, and let's make the parrot's head. The parrot has a 2x2 two two size to them. So let's click on one of these blocks and do Control D, Control Up. And then also notice it is in the middle. We're going to do that like this. We are going to temporarily grab everything on the bottom and group it. This may take a second because there's a lot of groups. When it does finally settle in, then we can go back to building our head. We're going to do Control D and we're going to do one click over. 
Notice it's two by two, so now we can grab both of those. I'm gonna use Shift Select and do Control D and move them to the front. I'm gonna take that group of four, making sure it says four and I'm going to group it. Now I can grab those two objects, choose a line, make the large one the boss, and I can hit center, which is easier to see from this angle. So there's the center choice, so that way I know I have it lined up. I'm also gonna line it up with the front. Now that I've got everything aligned, I'm going to go back to ungroup. And I'm also gonna go to this one and I'm gonna ungroup. And now we need to build this parrot's head up one, two, three, four chunks. So I'm gonna grab my four, do control D, control up. So that's two. If I do control D again, that's three and that's four. Now the next pieces have to move forward. So I'm gonna make sure I select these separate. And now when I do control D and go forward two clicks, friends, just like that, we've built the head. Now we've gotta take care of the cool little beak. Now the beak once again uses that middle technique. So what we're gonna do is click on any one of these and do control D and we're gonna pull it out. We're gonna take this up here and we're gonna group it. And we wanna drop it back on one of these flat pieces. So if we hit D, it'll drop. I'm gonna use the arrow key to nudge it up. And then friends, we just wanna grab those two parts, do a line, make sure the large one is the boss and we want to center it. Just like that, we've got the first piece of the black beak. Let's make it black so it's super easy to see. Let's also make sure we use the custom real black. If you pull this all the way down, it looks a lot cooler. All right, friends, now that we've got that placed, I wanna put the work plane back on the ground and we can simply click on this little guy and do control D and nudge him one click forward and then make sure you click between them and do control D again and now we wanna do control down. Now the next one, he made a little bit shorter but let's do it after we do control D and control down. Now the reason we switch between those is because they change where they connect Notice he made this one a little bit of a gray. So let's pull that in there. And then he made this one a little bit shorter. Now in order to shrink that just a little bit, we need to change our nudge. And then I'm gonna use the work plane, because I love this trick, to put it inside on the flat piece and then just hit D to drop it to the right height. I'm gonna put the work plane back down on the ground. And friends, that's looking pretty darn sweet. Now to do these white pieces, Jack has a super cool trick that he uses. To make it easier, I'm gonna hide my little guy right here. I'm gonna use Control H, and then we just need to select these four. Well, if I hide these, I can now grab those four. Notice it says three because these were grouped. That's a good reminder that I needed to ungroup them. So now I can grab those four and I can make them white. I'm gonna go back to preset white. And now when I do show all, there is my parakeet, but he's got this cool black eye out here. Friends, he does that by putting the work plane right here, bringing out another cube. And then this one, when he shrinks it to five by five, remember you shift shrink, type your five and press enter. I'm gonna make it black. And then he makes it 0.1 millimeters thick. So now he can drag it into place so it is right where that eye needs to be. And boom, your parrot looks fantastic. I wanna put one on the other side, so I'm gonna do Control D. And then I wanna put the work plane right here. And I'm gonna do D, and it drops to the other side. How cool is that? Friends, it's time to raise our bird up. I'm gonna put the work plane back on the ground. Make sure you've got them selected. Make sure you've got your five millimeter grid and we're gonna do control up one, two, three. So we'll have room for the legs when we're done. We need to rotate the body and the wings and the tail. I'm gonna quickly hide this little guy so he's out of the way. And then I wanna move the tail out of the way. Make sure you've got all 12 shapes and we're gonna go back one, two, three clicks. And then make sure you're looking at it from a corner so you find this rotation 
and we want to rotate it 50 degrees. So that's going to be the tail feather. We want to grab one wing and we want to rotate the wing 35 degrees. And then go to the other wing once again making sure you've only got the wings selected. You'll know for sure because it says 18. Find that rotation handle. Remember you can't see those sometimes so you go to the angles. And remember we are doing 35 degrees. Our two wings are the exact same. Now we are going to hide the head because none of this gets rotated. And then we need to rotate the body. Now the coolest way to grab the body is to click the top and then you can easily grab that entire chunk. Notice it'll say 54. Let's look at it from a corner. And these were 35, so this one is going to be 30. When you click show all, boom, you have got an awesome parrot with its head and its tail. And now we just need to place it. All right, friends, let's nudge this forward. One, two. Let's do control down. That looks good, but it looks too far forward, so I'm going to go back one. That looks really neat. It is right in there just like Jack's was. We've got the wings. Now we just got to move in our tail. I'm going to get so I can just see the tail from the side and grab it. And then we are going to nudge it down. Control down. And let's move it over. There's one and two. And boom. We have got an awesome Minecraft parrot. Let's do the feet super fast. Once again, bring out another cube. Let's hold down shift and shrink it to size 5. Press enter. And then don't forget we're making it 0.1 thick. We'll make it brown just like he did. I think he used that brown. And then we're going to do control D. And we're going to nudge it over two clicks. Notice that's the gap between it. So we've just got those two. We'll grab them both and do control D. And we need to stand them up. I like typing the numbers. Sometimes that's the easiest way. And then if you press the letter D, they'll drop to the right height. The easiest way to align them is to just grab them all, choose a line, and we want them to be to the back. Boom. Now we can grab those two. Notice it only says two. Do Control D and Control Up. And then Control D again. And we have just made our awesome legs. I am going to temporarily group these because I want to be able to align them. I'm also going to temporarily group the top of his head because I want to align these pieces. We're going to make the parts on his head real quick, put the work plane on his head, bring out another cube. Once again, we're going to hold down shift and shrink them and type the size 5. This time though, we're going to make it 0.1 on this dimension. Let's hold down shift and click on those two shapes and do a line. Make our head the master and put it in the center and in the front. So it's similar to that, but now when we go one click back, notice it took me two times to get that. Now it is lined up really nice there. Notice Jack does tilt these as well. Now, friends, click on that and do Control-D and Control-Up. And then we're going to do Shift-Click to get both of those. And we're going to do Control-D. And we're going to go back and then do Control-Up once, twice. So see that gap? Now we can click back on this one and do Control-D and do it back. And then I'm going to switch clicks. This is important so it doesn't automatically duplicate for me. I'm going to do back once and control up now this time I do want one up here so I'm gonna just do control D notice boom it was there and then I'm gonna click on this one or this one and this one and I just want to do control D and control up BAM we have got the cool top of our parrot I'm gonna select all those and I'm gonna give them the little custom rotation that it looks like Jack had as well and then I'm gonna do one millimeter nudge and do control down to sink it in to the parrot's head. Now friends, I want to line up the feet. So once again, I'm going to click on the head and I'm going to click on the feet. 
and I'm going to do a line with the head being the boss. Remember, when you look at these from an angle, it's so much more clear. Boom, there are my feet in the middle of the body. I'll also see what they look like if I put them to the back of the parrot. That's not bad. We will fix that, though, by putting the work plane on the ground and then just walking our legs back with the arrow keys to the spot where we want them. Friends, we have just built an awesome little parrot. I am going to ungroup this part now. And I'm going to ungroup this part. And then whenever you make one of these, I highly recommend you select the entire thing, switch to your creations, and create the awesome shape of what you made. I'm going to call them Parrot. I never lock the part size and boom, you can save it and use it in all the rest of your projects. Finally, friends, I just want to say thanks again to Jack for making these awesome projects. I think they look unbelievably cool whether you do the flat sides or whether you do the beveled. I think it's a ton of fun and it's a cool way to learn how to design things in 3D. Friends, remember if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day